Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you for watching as always. In this video I want to cross check two different things. Uh, the first thing is a comment to, to some of your comments and the second part will be demonstration and I will show you the script that can select the elements by work set. Uh, if you want to skip this first part where we are gonna talk about the comments like this I will wrote somewhere down here but it's a timestamp so you can go and see just uh, the script part so in my last video I did receive the comment like this and I like that comment uh, why not uh, because I did think a lot about that but you cannot respond to the comment like this in one or two or three sentences so I will use this time to try to elaborate uh, about this. So, okay, there is a custom script video which uh, you can purchase if you are interested. So if you want that script, you can have it. The thing is with the custom script and with all other Dynamo scripts, uh, you must tell me for which Revit version you want to run the script like that, what is the use of that script. Uh, this is an example of the tunnel. But actually I did develop it with another purpose for some railway slabs, but I think it will be cool if we show you demonstration of the tunnel mod, not the slab creation which is elevated and so on and so on. So it, it is not like you cannot see that script, you can if you pay. But I did mention also in uh, different videos the custom script uh, videos are the videos where I just showcase what uh, is the capability of the script. And okay, uh, for some people there is no use of uh, those videos, that is again okay. I mean YouTube I think on each second have a millions of uploads so you can watch anything. But let's just see if there is actually no use of the videos like that. On my other videos I think I have like 70 different videos where I did explain every single node in Dynamo. Uh, when I did begin recording to the channel uh, you can see uh, how I did create the script that for example determined the weight of uh, the ducts where I did record I think two videos by 40 minutes so in total you have like more than an hour of explanation uh, and then I did also set that a couple of times so average uh, duration that the user will spend on every basically video that I did create is a minute and 20 seconds probably. So when you have that kind of statistics I think there is no logic that you will create for one script uh, a video which is more than let's say 30 minutes. So that is why you don't have very detailed explanation in a lot of my videos because some things I already explained in different videos, but for some things I think that nobody actually cares. But I think the, the use of, of this video is that you know that something can be done in Dynamo. And actually now I also have some request on my email, uh, which is basically, hello, uh, can this be done in the Revit? And if that can be done, I need that for Revit 2020, so for a very old version. And uh, if that user have some similar videos like this uh, for the things which he need, he will already know the answer and uh, maybe we will uh, not waste our both times and so on. So uh, when you see that somebody did create a Dynamo script for something and you find that it's useful, uh, that is a signal to you that that can be done. You can try it or maybe you, you can pay somebody to do that for you. So we have the use of the scripts like this I think. Again I think that if you just look how I did create this video, what is the input, what is the output, what actions I did perform to set that script, you will get to know uh, what workflow I have in, inside that script, what things I needed to do in order to create that tunnel. But again, if uh, you do not understand anything about that workflow uh, or you, if you didn't create 
any Dynamo script before, uh, even if I show you the script, even if I show you all the nodes, uh, and you recreate that, and you recreate that for a different Revit version, it will not work. Uh, if I did run that script in the German user interface, and you're running in the English user interface, it will not work. And there is like 10 or 20 different issues that can arise uh, if you're just looking what I did and you're doing the same on your screen and you don't understand anything and again it will not work. So with Dynamo and probably with all other programming languages um, you cannot just copy, you must understand uh, what's in the core of uh, any product. Also for me personally the use of the videos like this is okay you did so uh, that I did create something, you don't need that, but you need something very similar, you can contact me, you can set the price, you can tell me requirements for each right version and so on and so on. So there is a use for me. And a lot of times it is actually the case that I know that I did create something, but I do not remember what is the user interface for that script, how the, exactly that script works, so I can click on that video and see. So it is my portfolio, uh, I did create those videos for all of you and I hope that all of you will learn something from my videos but it can happen that some video actually have more the use for me than it has for you and I think that is okay. So I hope that we did clear uh, the comments like this and uh, probably it will rise again in the future but I can just respond to all those people with uh, the link to this video. Let's now jump to the script and I will show you the script and you will see whenever I create uh, those custom scripts I will try to have as much uh, Python code as I can in order to avoid all custom packages again in order to avoid all the problems that comes with uh, custom packages so uh, we will run the script, I will show you the script but like with the script that are uh, custom scripts I will show you the code, I don't have uh, that many times or I don't think that nobody watch actually uh, to explain every in each part of the code but I will try to explain what was the logic what problems uh, did I have with this script so if you have some specific questions I will be glad to answer okay so what we have here uh, we have some uh, script that my friend needed and my friend have the common problem so you have a model which can have even 20 or 30 different work sets and you want quickly to select all the elements that belong to some work set because either you want to change the work set or you want to check if everything is okay uh, so that was like the requirement and it was the requirement for Revit 2021 but I did use uh, I think only the Python node so uh, I did try if the script works in the Revit 2024, it works, so in every version between Revit 21 and Revit 24 it will work for sure and you don't need to install any custom packages. Uh, select by work set, it's a pretty straightforward thing to do, so you will run the script, uh, we are not using uh, in this case uh, data shapes uh, custom packages, I did uh, create my own user interface because in this case that was very simple so we will say over here to the user that it needs to select the work sets you have some nodes if you click over here it will go to my website so uh, what the user interface will read and it will read all the work sets that you have in the model so now you can select uh, some work set for example civil and click ok and the script will find the elements that belong to that work set and it it will perform select by ID so uh, it will list all the work sets the user will choose one work set because it's a drop down list and then the script must find all the elements that belong to that work set and it will actually call select by ID and basically that is it we can check over here so all those elements that are selected belong to the civil work set uh, because uh, inside the Revit uh, you can have the elements which are not just walls, ducts, uh, uh, electrical elements and so on, uh, maybe you did select uh, those work sets to the, I don't know, uh, levels or mechanical systems and so on, so probably over here you will see more elements than you actually did expect, 
so um, we can filter it over here we can say okay we want to check just Florence and walls then this field it's not just read only it is a read write uh, field again if you run and you can check so we have civil electrical mechanical plumbing and those two common uh, work sets that uh, will be um, created when you turn on the collaboration so we have those work sets again if we run the script we will say we will have the same work sets over here now let's try to select electrical click ok we have four electrical fixtures uh, the work set is correct and let's also test the script for mechanical and plumbing so uh, a couple of ducts in the work set mechanical and finally we have plumbing and we have a couple of work sets there but now what is very important and what is the issue which i did have while i was testing the script is um, and that will also happen when you model something in the Revit so uh, if you want to model for example plumbing but uh, you did not change what is the active work set if you call for example the command for pipe and now you did create some pipe and because your active work set was mechanical you will say okay I did forgot I will change so you will go over here and you will change the work set to be a plumbing but when I did uh, create the script and when I did test the script I did have so you can see over here that we have uh, the correct work set for plumbing but initially when I test the script uh, the script will also select uh, pipes when I choose mechanical work set and that was not correct and then uh, it is not a problem with the code itself uh, the problem was in a case because uh, when you have active work set which is wrong you you did not uh, set that work set only to the pipe you can have on the pipe uh, something which is called pipe system for those who are not familiar with pipes and ducts so like um, if like uh, the pipe is the master element then a slave element is a, a pipe system and it's not just a pipe system it has a lot of different uh, elements that can be like sub to the main element so even though we did change we did create with the wrong work set but we did change for the pipe for the pipe system it remain to be mechanical uh, and when you want to select for example you will go manually and you want to select all the pipes that you have in your model you will select the pipes and you will change the work set but you will not select pipe systems and that is a problem because inside the code you will say to the all the elements which have the work set that I did choose you must select all those elements and basically the code will find that uh, piping system have this mechanical and when you now want to say okay but select me that element that contain a mechanical it will not select the system it will actually go to the pipe and then you will say okay why uh, the code did select the pipe when i did ask uh, to select all the mechanical elements and you know that in this case uh, in mechanical you have just those ducts so again back to that comment with no use in quotes um, you cannot find the, the the things like this until you start to create something and start to test uh, things like this so uh, even when I show you the code you will not understand why uh, and uh, somewhere in the code and somewhere in that testing I did spot this issue and I did resolve it but in those minute and 20 seconds uh, of how many uh, users will watch this video you cannot spot that part so okay you you did so how the script works let's now go to dynamo and i will show you the code okay and believe it or not this is the entire script and when somebody asks for the custom script it usually um, i mean depending on the complexity in this case it it is a script with small complexity but it can have even 300 of nodes but with a script like this you don't need any custom package uh, everything will be done with the python script and if i'm not lazy uh, everything of this can be actually one python 
script node. Well, okay, let's see. Let's run the script and let's see the results and let's view the code. So let's try to select all the elements for electrical. Say OK. So what we have over here. Uh, at first, we uh, needed to list all the work sets that we have in the model. Uh, when you want to list all the work sets that you have in the model, you also want to sort. It will be like rough if you just throw uh, those strings, that uh, text to the user. Um, but again, in this case, you must sort by the strings, you must sort by the work set name, and the work set IDs must follow. So it is important to sort, it is important to sort by string, and you must have corresponding uh, work set IDs. So the code for this part is like this. So I think nothing crazy. Half of this code is just reference part. So that is it. You can pause the video and I don't know, rewrite it. Again, because I'm lazy, I did use a code block to set what is the input for the next part. What we have in the next part, let's just see by the results. So we did present all work sets to the user, but uh, the user did choose something. 341 is the work set for electrical. So the user did choose electrical and we will basically process that as a input to the final node. Before that, let's again see uh, this code. This code contains a lot of elements because we needed to create user interface. We needed to show all the work sets. We have also a messages who did create uh, the script and you have a link to my website. So basically that is it. And final node will actually find uh, all the elements that correspond to that work set. Over here we have more information because while I was testing uh, the script, I did have that problem with uh, selection of the elements that actually does not belong to the work set. And for that I was uh, needed some more information. But uh, in this case you will run the script in 99% from the Dynamo player, so you actually don't need this as output. Uh, again, let's see the code. You must took a work set ID, you must find all the elements and then you must actually just perform uh, select by ID in order to select those elements. So this is like the key element of this entire script. This is it. I hope that this video uh, was in use for you and have a nice day. Bye.